Hey folks, a friend of mine recently asked if I could give her some advice and weigh in on some items that she would want to bring when she goes out camping with her son during the cold season. So Allie, this quick review of my breakdown and my, my gear for the cold season, this is for you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started off. My gear is pretty ultra light. My gear is something that I really want to invest in. One of the things that I would encourage you, Allie, and really anybody who's watching this video is for everybody. <clears throat> if you're gonna invest in any one thing, invest in your sleep system. So I'm not gonna go over the tent because, Allie, you've already got a tent and everyone pretty much has their own tent or hammock or whatever system they have right now but you almost froze from what you told me last time because your air pad deflated and you're on that cold ground. So I'm gonna give you the products that I have. I'll link them down below so that way you can go ahead and click on them and, and investigate them. And I'll give you what I think about them. Now I will tell you, I have gone through all of this myself. I've, I've been through it. Heck, even this last weekend up in Mount Rose when it snowed four to six inches on me, got down to about 12 degrees worked out fine. In fact, it was a little too warm. However, I'm going to tell you what I had to do to get there because I definitely was uh, taking this to an extreme. So with that, I'll go ahead and I'll just dive right in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are gloves. You don't have to have these. These are nice to have. If you have your own pair, great. I have these uh, just simple gloves from REI. There's not a lot to these guys. They are quite form-fitting. They give me enough warmth. They have these little grips, as you can uh, as you can uh, see here, these little grips. And you can actually operate your phone with it, so it worked out well for me. Um, so I would go ahead and you know, get yourself a couple of gloves if you're gonna be out in the, in the decent cold. Um, that's, that's one thing. Another thing that I always do, advice from watching YouTube videos, is I sleep in a separate pair of socks, dry socks. It's great to have, it's important to have, especially if you've been hiking in snow. I have darn tough socks. They're great. They're wonderful. They have a lifetime guarantee. They're warm. You can have them in crew cut or a little bit longer cut. It's fine. There's, there's all kinds of it, but I always sleep in a separate pair of socks so that way my feet are dry, which is really important, especially when it gets really cold outside. So I always have socks on, unless it's really warm, but for this is a cold uh, weather video. So I have socks on. If I need it, I'll have my gloves. And my next are these, again, it's REI, uh, these uh, longer, like, so they're sort of like long johns, uh, but they're not long johns, but they're thicker, they're not too thick. Um, these are 100% polyester, so they're not going to be like cotton, but they fit pretty darn well. Um, just go to REI, local REI out there, and, and find one of these, or you can order online if you really have to. I found this to be decently thick. It's, it's not so bad right there. I mean, it's kind of decently thick there. And it's not too heavy and too bulky. It really helps me when I go out there in the back country and sleep out in the cold. It's more than capoline for sure. So it's definitely something I would say, if you're gonna get cold and you know it's gonna get cold, have yourself some long johns and also a long sleeve shirt. I typically sleep in that too. Although I have a decent hole in mine, so I didn't go ahead and bring it out for this video. And the other thing I'm gonna say, and this is one of my products from Goose Feet Gear. These guys have wonderful products. As you can probably guess, it's down products. These are their booties that they have. They're, they're down booties. These are just, in my opinion, great. If you're a cold sleeper, this is wonderful. I'm a, I'm a bit of a cold sleeper, and I find these to be fantastic. So you put on your dry socks, you put these on, and you are good to go. I found that these are very, these are extremely lightweight. So you can just, and they're very compressible. You can compress the heck out of them. In fact, your stuff sack is, is, is pretty small. So you can just compress them, toss them in your bag. They weigh almost nothing and they will help definitely keep you warm in your sleeping bag or whatever you have. And we're gonna go over my quilt here in a bit, but I understand for you, Allie, for example, you have a sleeping bag. I'll go over that here in a little bit, the temperature ratings and whether or not you might wanna consider getting a different bag for winter. Okay, so the most, probably the, 
The most important or critical piece of equipment I think to have is a good air pad. This is Thermarest's X-Therm. This has a crazy, crazy high, I think it's 6.7 R value rating. This is what you take when you go out into the winter in the backcountry or any snow. If you, if you just want to stay warm, you take this guy. It's about a pound. It's, it's actually about 14, I don't know, it's, it's about a pound, 14 to 16 ounces or so. So it's heavier. It's not ultra light, but it is warm. It'll definitely help get you up off that ground. If you're a side sleeper, air pads are wonderful. Uh, I am an everything sleeper. I sleep on my back, I sleep on my side, I toss, I turn. This is just fantastic though. This is, this is robust. This is great for the, for the winter. Um, I, would, I would not go out into the, the, the snow and all of that without this guy. Um, now you can, you can, you can go and use uh, some of the other, the, the Neo Air uh, x line you can do some of that, but you just don't have the R value, which is very important. So when you're looking at whether or not to buy a, an air pad, if you're gonna be in cold temperatures, you wanna take something with a higher R value. The Neo Air x -Therm, when I was down to 12, 10 degrees, it was fine. So it, it can do that. Other sleeping pads and such, they're gonna have maybe down to 20 degrees, and after that you're, gonna, you're just gonna get cold. The, the, the technology is just not going to be able to reflect your body heat. So that's, that's what I love about this x -therm is that when you lay on it, what happens is in here there are panels that reflect your body heat back up and the cold air from the ground back down. So that way you can stay warm. Love this guy. My advice to you, buy the 25 inch width. I have a 20, it's okay. I, I kind of I wish I had bought the 25, but you don't have to get it in the mummy uh, version, which is, it basically starts off lo uh, more wide at your shoulders and then tapers down. You can buy, for your purposes, uh, Ali, or anyone really, uh, just the, the, the uh, rectangular one, that's fine. It's not a big deal at all. Um, it adds a little bit of extra weight, but if you're not gonna, be out there and do extended stays and weight's a big concern, then don't worry about it. Just buy the 25 inch width, which I find just covers my shoulders and gives me some, some ability to kind of sit back and lay on the pad or lay back on the pad. Otherwise my shoulders, or I'm sorry, my elbows tend to fall off on a 20 inch. 25, it doesn't really happen though. So that'd be my advice. Buy the X-Therm 25 inch, you'll be good to go out in that cold, cold weather. All right, so the next thing I have, uh, it's another project product from Goose Feet Gear is their down pants. Now, I got this in black. I didn't uh, go for some of the extra baffling and such. I, I just went with this usual. I did go down to zero degree. And when you go onto Goose Feet Gear's website, you will have this product in multiple temperature ranges that you can uh, select from. I slept with these on inside my quilt with everything on and i was nice and warm this really helped out um, my my rear end was a little cold but it always is when i go out and sleep so that's just something i have to use extra pairs of clothing to compensate for but i had my long johns on had this on got down to 10 12 degrees and these are fantastic. I would recommend Goose Feet Gear. They're a great company. They have great products and they're very responsive. So Goose Feet Gear down pants. Fantastic. Next, and I did sleep with this on, is my UGQ down beanie. Now this is something that with all down products, when it gets wet, it loses its properties. So you have to know that. You wanna keep this dry. Uh, it does work really, really well. It will maybe get you a little bit sweaty. I like that it has this kind of uh, interesting banding here that helps sort of cinch down on your, on your head. They'll have on their website that when you do buy this, you need to think of it as being and fitting snug, because it will, it'll fit snug. But it is great. Um, I really enjoyed it. This, this helped me out there this last week in the backcountry. So I would, I would advise this, um, if you have a beanie, you don't have to have a beanie, you know, like this. This is, this is down from UGQ, but you can have any kind of beanie. But if you have a beanie, wear it. 
if you need it with your jacket and the hood, put it on, you know, the hood over top if it gets that cold. Uh, but that's what I used and I was fine. All right, so we're down to the last three products or last three things. And I'm gonna go in terms of my preference, the, the things that I, are my favorite here to round it out. So this is a Sea to Summit silk and nylon sleeping bag or quilt liner. This is one of the lightest versions they have. It is nice. What it does <clears throat> is if you camp regularly and sleep in your pad reg your bag regularly, this helps from preventing it helps prevent a lot of that stink and that funk that you'll get. You can take it out and wash it. It's much easier than washing your down products. Um, but also what I found was this adds maybe a two degrees, maybe, to uh, your sleep system. But what it helped me do was because I have a 20 inch sleeping pad, air pad, is that it helped keep my, my uh, elbows in rather than falling off the air pad. It kept them in. And that was good. I really, really appreciated that. That was an extra added bonus. I didn't really think about that. So you just slip this in, you slip into it, then you put in within your uh, quilt or your sleeping bag. It's a little bit something to get used to. It's a little bit, you know, you, you fidget with it and you get used to it, but um, it really helped out. <clears throat> and I, I think it's really worth it. Um, so if you camp a lot, and you sleep in your bag a lot or your quilt a lot, you definitely want to have something like this because it'll help, if nothing else, cut down that odor that will inevitably develop, especially if you've been hiking for a day and running around, whatever, getting stinky. So on top of that, you know, you got the, it keeps your elbows in. So I, I would say go ahead and get one of these. You can see the Summit has several different options. I have the Traveler one, which is, like I said, silk and nylon is the, almost the lightest way, offers the least amount of added warmth. They have all the way up to the Inferno, which is apparently like a, this crazy awesome, heat, not heated, but hot kind of like uh, sleeping bag liner. Um, you can go that far if you want to. I don't think, I don't feel the need to, um, but you can. So they offer in multiple temperature ranges and they work great. So, Moving on to my second favorite all-time purchase, and this is my Enlightened Equipment Enigma Down Quilt. So this has the closed foot box. It's not an open foot box, it's closed. Helps keep you warm. And quilts are not for everyone, I will say. Um, if it's something, especially you, Allie, you don't need a, a, much of a, of a uh, sleeping bag because you're not gonna you know sleep in it often uh, these have these little snaps for the uh, drawstrings this this quilt is a 10 degree down quilt which means that survival rating is 10 degrees fahrenheit rule of thumb is that you add 10 maybe even 15 degrees for comfort so i could comfortably use this down to 25 maybe maybe 20 um, I will tell you, and I love this thing, you can, you can just go ahead and you can unbuckle it. You can unsnap these two top snaps. And if you need to, you can always have the quilt over you. And then as you get too hot, if you have it, you just take it off as you're laying there and let that heat escape. It's fine. It's great. Um, I love this. Love this quilt. It's just fantastic. Um, the only reason why I bought another one at 30 degrees is because it worked too well and I was getting too hot and sweating at night. Um, but the thing that I'll tell you about the, the quilt, and you'll see this in a ton of YouTube videos, there's just so many, is that, yes, it'll, it'll say 10 degrees, you will survive in the fetal position at 10 degrees. You will not be comfortable. You will not be happy, but you will survive. Um, I wore everything I just showed you, the, the down booties, the down pants, the down beanie, the long johns, the gloves, the, the extra socks. I wore all of that and when I'm going to show you my puffy, all of that. And it was a little too warm and I should have been, but 
I was taking that quill down to its survival rating. That, that is really extreme. Hopefully you don't encounter that. Hopefully it's only 25 degrees or so. Um, but the point is, you can take this one quilt and supplement with layers of clothing, with a jacket, with a beanie, with extra pants, and you can actually go down below what would be the comfort range. So I was at probably 12 degrees and I was too warm because I had all that extra stuff. Had, had I just only had this, I would have been in some serious trouble. I would have not slept that night. I would have been so frigidly cold but I had that extra stuff, so I was able to take that down and be quite fine, even at 12, 10, 12 degrees. Depends on which thermometer you looked at. Is it either 10 or 12? So uh, you don't have to buy a quilt, Allie. You can take a sleeping bag, but the sleeping bag you had though, when you sent me the specs, it was comfortable down to, down to about freezing. If you know you're gonna get there, or below that, you're just gonna to have to get a more robust sleeping bag or a more, more robust kind of quilt. And there's tons of products out there. Uh, Enlightened equipment is great, but they're by no means the only ones. There's Climate, uh, there's, I mean, there's Nemo, and there's all kinds of companies out there that offer fantastic sleeping bags. So if you're not gonna sleep in the backcountry camp that often, just you know, get yourself a bag, just find whatever. Um, but just make sure that you know what kind of temperature you're gonna get to, and then bump it up, tend to probably, even if you're cold, a cold sleeper and you get cold at night, bump it up 15 degrees. So if you're gonna get, let's say, the temperature's gonna get down to 35 for the low for the night, you, to be comfortable, really need to have a 20 degree sleeping bag or a quilt. You really do. Because you're not going to be comfortable unless you get something that low or rated for that low. So just so you know, that's a bit of advice. You really need to do that. And I, being out there, I can tell you that is a hundred percent true. So time for my last one. This is my all time favorite purchase is my enlightened equipment men's torrid apex synthetic jacket. This is fantastic. It is super lightweight. It is very, very compactable, and it is very, very warm. This is fantastic. I was out in the back country. It was 20 degrees with, with wind. All I had was a t- Hey, so I don't know what happened there. My uh, video cut off. I don't understand that because I didn't hit the button. But anyway, you saw all that. You saw the uh, Apex jacket, which is fantastic, my best buy. And in any event, I'm not, I'm, I'm just far too lazy to go ahead and get back in the old clothes and set up the camera equipment and shoot. So I'm just gonna do it on the iPhone here. But in any event, yeah, I mean, you understand. So that's my winter camping gear. I recommend all of it. Hope you find this helpful, Allie, and everybody else out there in the YouTube world. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, drop them down below and I have links for everything and I'll answer any questions you have. If you have suggestions, you know, that's great too. But uh, I hope you found that helpful and yeah, so that's the summer, or I'm sorry, the winter uh, get up and uh, here pretty soon I'll get the summer coming gear. So have a great one and talk to you later. Bye.